Hey, what's up guys, it's Zeno here, and welcome back to some more Undertale. In last episode, we saw the ending of the neutral route. This episode, we are going to try and do the pacifist ending. So basically, we have to go back and go on a date with Undyne and Alphys. So, yeah, that's what Flowey told us to do, and so we're going to go do it. And, yeah, I'm probably just going to, like, cut whenever we find um, um, Undyne because it takes a pretty long time to get there so I think I'm just gonna cut it here and then whenever we get to Undyne then I'll cut it back in. Well since we're in the Hotlands first we're gonna go visit Dr. Alphys see how she's doing because we have not seen her at... oh uh, what are you? Metaton looked really really cool in that dress it sort of makes me feel like I could wear one too. Hmm. Alright. Huh, I didn't see that guy before, whenever he serenaded us. Anyways, uh, back to... Oh! What's Muffet doing here? There you are, dearie. You are always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. Hmm. Interesting, huh. I didn't know she'd still be here. Okay, um, so I'm gonna cut it, and then whenever we get to, um, Alphys, uh, what's it called? Laboratory? Uh, then I'll cut it back in. Okay, here we are back at the lab, and... Uh, there's no response, huh? Okay. Um, how else could we get in there? I'm trying to think. Like, how else could we get in there? Okay, so, uh, there's no way to do that. So, I guess we gotta go see Undyne and then Dr. Alphys. Okay, or, or, let's try, um, what is this? Dimensional Box A? What is that? Oh, oh, okay, so... Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Alright, so, uh, I'll cut it whenever we get to Undyne's house. Okay, after about ten minutes of not knowing what to do, I eventually, um, realized that there is a house here. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, so here we are at Napstablooks and, or Napstablooks and Undyne's house. Um, apparently I'm supposed to see Papyrus here, but I do not, so... We're just gonna knock. It's locked. Okay, so I don't know what I do. I, I don't know what to do, honestly. I really don't. Um, if any of you got Oh, that's the house of um Undyne's neighbor. What was her name again? Spooky Blue Blue? <laughs> um Papyrus Napperhog. Napperhog, okay, are you gonna say anything else? God like I don't know what to do. Like I, I really don't, to be honest. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh! Oh! Here it is! Okay, gotcha. Alright. Oh-ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Yeah, of course, dude. Okay, stand behind me. Psst! Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Alright. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? <laughs> he did a little dance, oh my god. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you, on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, it's a bone. A drawer full of bones. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. Uh, uh, <laughs> he jumped out the window. <laughs> oh my god. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah, sure. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship, not... Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? 
<laughs> what a joke. Oh, I see you, Papyrus. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. <laughs> I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Oh my god! <laughs> this is great, I love this. Sit down and progress? Uh, yeah, sure, let's do it. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. <laughs> She's literally being friends with us just because Papyrus told her that we couldn't be friends. <laughs> All set, what would you like? Uh, oh! Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Uh, uh, huh. uh okay. Sugar goes in tea. Uh, soda. Sickly yellow liquid. <laughs> um, hot chocolate. Green cylinder. And tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Uh, that. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting, kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Okay, what about that? Tea, huh? Coming right up? Okay. Is this gonna be like the instant ramen noodle thing? I hope it's not, because that's really annoying. Okay, it'll take a moment for the water to boil. Oh my god, not this again. Wait, can I get up? I guess not, never mind. Oh? Okay, it's all done. Alright. Here we are. Alright. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Oh my god. Uh, hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. <laughs> sort of. You know, I was pretty hot headed I was a pretty hot headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like uh, Papyrus. But um, to be honest. I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that, but he's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak, he's just, he's actually pretty freaking tough, but it's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why... I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Uh... What? <laughs> What's going on? Why? That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we will become closer than you can ever imagine. Afraid? We're gonna be best friends? Oh! 
<laughs> he picked me up by my head, oh my god. Let's start with the sauce. <laughs> Is that tomatoes? Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fist. How will you pound? Strong. Let's do it strong. You punch the best you punch the vegetables at full force, you knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah, I, I don't know how to read that. I really don't. Ooh. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, uh, I like how they come from the ceiling. We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Uh, press it repeatedly, let's do it. Alright, stir harder, okay. Harder, okay. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying as fast as I can. <laughs> Ugh, let me do it. Oh my god. I'm dying. Stop. Okay. That's the stuff. Alright. Now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Let's do it. Do it all the way. Hotter. Okay. I'm gonna set your house on fire. <laughs> Oh my god, it's huge! <laughs> Wait, that's too... Uh, did I just blow her house up? Oh my god, I just blew her house up. Ah, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Uh, what? I've been defeated, my house is in shambles, I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on. Hit me with all you've got. Make the first attack, uh, fake attack. You pretend to swing out and dine with all your might. Uh, what did I... <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid sick saturange saturange stick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, <laughs> just like him. Listen, human, it seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But oh, we already did, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? All right, now let's get now let's get out of this flaming house. All right. Well, I feel bad. I just set her house on fire. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But uh. Somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is a sudden, but can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you, but he told me when I still hated you. So, uh, anyway, here, just take it. Undyne's letter. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it. Uh, oh, yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Alphys. Okay, see ya. Alright, so, 
that gives us an excuse to go to Alphys' house, so I'm gonna go do that, and I'm gonna cut it, and I'll see you guys at Dr. Alphys' house. See you there. Okay, here we are at Dr. Alphys' lab, or house, I guess, I don't know. The door has no mail slots. Slide the letter under? Uh, yeah, let's do it. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can, can I just slide it back out? No, no, I, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Is he gonna let us in? Or is she gonna let us in? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could've... Oh my god, no. That's adorable. And I, I had no idea you um wrote that way. It's surprising, too. Yeah, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less, um, this? And so passionately, too? You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let, let's go on a date. What? Wait. Oh, wait, let's see what happens. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Okay. So, Undyne wanted to date- uh Oh my god. Oh my god. No! 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 Nuh-uh. I don't like this. She looks too weird, but okay. How do I look? My friend helped me pick, the, pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um, anyway, let's do this thing. Alright, let's do it. H hey, wait, 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 wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? <laughs> um, I gotta give you the items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of successful outcome to the date, right? Anyway, d don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this, but first I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that, but I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Uh, your, uh, scales. Uh, well, uh, how about this magical spirit repair kit that I, um... <laughs> oh, they're specifically for Undyne. Let's just start the date. Alright, let's see if I still remember how to do this. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Alright, are we gonna... Are we gonna start? <laughs> uh... Do you... Like... Anime? <laughs> um... Uh... Occasionally? I mean, it's not like I'm obsessed with it. Like, every once in a while. Like, I don't... <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know, sometimes? Yeah, sure, I guess. Hey, me too! Like, it's not my preferred watching option, but sure. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> Alright, Alphys, here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh. Oh no. That's her over there. I, I can't let her see me on a date with you. W why? Because, uh, well. Oh no, here she comes. Hey! There you are! I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? <laughs> I thought I said something else for a minute. Oh, anyways. Have you at least seen her? Uh... You know, let's help her out. Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh... I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I I'm sorry. I just figured, y you know, it'd be for fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you, but to make you feel better. <laughs> wow, Alphys. 
Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not, not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find the, She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth, dude. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself, but I don't really like myself. who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the, tru the, the truth? I, I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Well, let's roleplay it. Uh, roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be undone? I'll be undone. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. H how are you doing today? <laughs> You're cute. I bet she'll be like, what about my cute? Wait, no, let's see. Wait. Um, I, I'm fine. Let's be serious. Ha! Ha! Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. Then she kisses you? What? <laughs> oh my god. Then she kisses you. Okay, uh, what is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. Y you see, I, oh, forget it. Undyne, I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about the nerdy stuff. You you always do, do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. <gasps> That's awkward. That's really awkward. What did you just say? Uh, I'm dying, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but... I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. <laughs> oh my god. What? I mean... I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well... Everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just... I make it to use ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies? Those? Those are just... Uh, anime. <laughs> they aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I... I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. I... Alphys. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think that I was smart and cool. That I was some nerdy, that I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys, Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Okay, I, I'm not gonna do that, that's kinda creepy. Uh, <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. <laughs> I like how she said kid cartoons. Okay, to me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want you to help you become- I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Er, and I have just the training you need to do that. I, I don't know how I screwed that up so badly, but, uh, Undyne, you- you're gonna train me? Pfft, what? Me? Oh. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Oh my god. Get those bones shaken. It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. 
You ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne. I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? <laughs> uh, like, I don't want to hurt her feelings, but... You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Haha! <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're gonna go. They're gonna get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. All right. Well, uh, why are we done here? So, uh, I guess that was the date. I, uh, my cat just meowed so loud into the microphone. I'm sorry about that. She... Tiger, what are you doing? Okay, let me get her out. Hold on a second. Okay, so now we are back, and I think that's all the stuff we need to do before we go fight Asgore again. So, uh... Yeah, we're, we're gonna do it. Oh, never mind. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go. There. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Alright, well. Let's, let's do it. Let's go to Alphys' house. and Or we could go visit Undyne. Never mind. It's, a, it's on fire. Okay. Um. <laughs> Alright. So we're just going to go all the way to the hotland again. This dude's still watching us, man. What the crap. Alright. Oh. Never mind, that's an elevator. Alright, well, where, where is she? Really? Really? It looks like Metaton is undergoing repairs. Alright. So... Papyrus told us to come back, but it's a video feed of your location. Huh. He told us to come back, but nothing's here. A note? It's a note from Alphys. Let's read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but as difficult as it is to say this... You guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this node. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Oh man, I don't like where this is going. I don't know man, like this game's already shown that it can get messed up really- Warning, warning. Elevator losing power. M tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Oh man, oh, that was loud, ow, that actually hurt my ears. Okay. God, like, this game's already showing us that it can get really messed up, like... No going back now, I mean, whatever. Dude... Uh, entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Alright. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what is once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh. Oh, no, I don't like where this is going. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's holst. A holst! <laughs> and unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. 
I believe this is what grieves or gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Oh, oh man. Alright, Alphys. What you got, dude? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. Buy chips for 25? Why not? You didn't have enough. Oh yeah, never mind. Alright, well, let's... Let's go. Entry number 6. Asgore asked everyone outside the city of, for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still, coma they're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn to dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Alright, Alphys. Entry number 9. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for their funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain, dropped it. That's all you could read. Some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. Oh my god, I don't like where this is going, guys. I really don't. To be honest, I, I don't. Alright, well, let's go up here. And we can't. Alright, we gotta go in. Alright. Well, can we? There's a note. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. Okay. It's a fake plant. That's the center door, but it's not gonna let me into here. Alright. Nothing different. It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Uh, they're all sticky. Alright. Oh. What is that? Uh, what is that? Oh my god. What is that? Uh, what is that? The enemy put a piece of your put a piece of itself in your inventory. Dude, I don't like this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. 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 But nobody came. Can we spare? God, I don't like this man. So you take out your cell phone, you can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. No. I really don't like where this is going, guys. Oh, man. Memory head. I refuse. Come join us. Or come join the fun, I mean. Uh. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Oh, we can spare? Alright. You won. You earned 0 XP and 0 gold. Alright, red key. Alright, let's do it. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Alright, let's let's see if we gotta turn it or anything. The red switch has been turned on. Alright. God, I don't like where this is going. I know I've said it a lot, but I, I don't. Alright, so that's one. So I guess we gotta solve a puzzle. Entry number 12, nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13, one of the bodies opened its eyes. Entry number 14, everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Uh, what is that? 
It's a yellow key. You put it on your keychain. Oh man, this is this is fucked up. Like, what did she do? Entry number seven. We will need a vessel to wield the monster's soul when the time comes. After all, the monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human absorb just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Experimentations or experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you. It won't let it go. It won't let go. All right. Oh wait, there's. Okay, I thought it didn't show us. Uh. Uh. Ew, go away. Go away, please. Ew, what is that? What is that? Let's pray. You know and pray for safety. Remember it's conscience. Uh, uh what I don't like this. I hate this man. This is so creepy. Mystify. Alright, we need an item. Uh, I hate this man. I I cannot stand this. This is so weird. Um, hum? You have a familiar tune, but no one heard you. God, I cannot stand this. This is so creepy. Alright. Clean? You wash your hands, nothing happened. Like, and it doesn't help that I suck at this game, so. <laughs> Alright. We still can't spear this guy. Uh. You pick on Reaper Bird, Reaper, Reaper, Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Courage. Uh, what? Oh, I'm gonna die. No, we're not. Not today. Someone finally gets it. Oh god, I gotta keep picking on him then. That seems to be the only option here. Oh, we can... Oh, there we go. Alright. Done with that. Awesome. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you could read. Some kind of... Oh, great. We went all the way down here for no reason. I'm probably going to end up cutting this episode up into two parts, so if it cuts out right now, then that's why golden flowers, okay? Because I actually wasn't really expecting this, to be honest. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls and the vessel back to Asgore, and I called all back all of the families and told them that everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow, smiley face. No, 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 no. Oh, man, what happened? Uh, I don't like this. Uh, no. No, uh. I don't like this, man. Oh, okay. There's a green key, you took it. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, that was really creepy. So, alright, we got a yellow key, a green key, and now we just need a blue key. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. There's a switch on the wall. Press it? Yeah, sure. Alright. So, that gets... Oh, no, another one. Uh, it's... Alright, we ain't got a choice. 
amal amalgamate uh pet oh it's kind of like dog doggo not really never mind no it's not uh oh it's like a slow down version of the dog song here let's you call amalgate it bounces towards you flecking a strange liquid from its orifice Oh, I hate this man. I can't stand this. Uh, let's let's pet. It convulses rapidly, then calms down and rests quietly on your lap for a minute. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Oh man, this is so messed up. Uh. Play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The Amalagate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now, now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping am amorphous body on you. Uh, I don't want to. God, the song is what's getting me, like, too tired to play. Like, the so it's just the song that's getting me, because it, it's like 12 o'clock at night at recording this, and just, it, it's really creepy, okay. Uh, pet? Alright. God, this is so fucking creepy. I fucking hate this shit, man. God. Uh, convulsions intensify. Dude, just stop. Oh my god. Satisfied by all this? God, man. Oh, that was so creepy. Okay, yellow switch. Awesome. Alright, under sheets. That's all you could read. Oh, it tells you where the keys are. Okay. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Tape one. Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Er, and why do you have that video camera? Shush. I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm? Carrots, right? Oh, no, no. My favorite vegetable is... Add, uh, mommy. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. He. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Huh. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a mammarian. Ho ho, you sure are excited to have this child. You know. If you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. Well, I am going to bed. Hey, come on. Tori, that one was funny. Haha, <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Alright. Tape 2. Okay, Daniel. Are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! Hee hee hee. Oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on. Quit tricking me. Oh. Oh, you didn't. You didn't, Alphys. No. Please don't tell me. Howdy, Daniel. Smile for the camera. Ha, huh, this time I got you, I left the cap on, on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason, hee <laughs> hee. What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put it in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick, I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have left it off, like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Oh, man. This is... I don't like this. I... 
I don't like this idea, Daniel. What? What? N no, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Daniel. Never. Y y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll be fr we'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. All right, tape five. Daniel, can you hear me? We, we want you to wake up. Daniel, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are you are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Daniel, please wake up. I I don't like this plan anymore. I I. No, I I said I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six, and we'll do it together, right? Oh man, dude. You seem to be they seem to be alphabetized save for a few stray sticky ones. They are a bunch of VHSs, mostly cartoons of some kids. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. So, I've been here. Like, I've been here before is what basically is happening. God, that that's so weird. I, I don't like that. Alright, well, yellow switch down. What else? Oh, God. that That's so weird, man. What are you? Oh. It smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Uh, let's flex? You flexed your arm. Lemon bread's muscle shakes. Oh, man, this is... Oh, no. Do you think I'm pretty? What? How? I don't understand how I decide. I don't get that. You're going to be alright. Daniel, stay determined. Please don't tell me it's going to put me all the way back at Undyne's. Don't tell me. Okay, okay, we're good. Alright. 